Hello, I'm Matt Riggle with Bravo Company. Uh, if you want to hear more about Bravo Company and Improv for Warriors 2, make sure you watch this video. You can also see us on Facebook and Instagram. I uh, first wanted to be part of the theater world when I was uh, young, about 10 years old. There was community theater. I was growing up in Chino Hills. Um, it was called the Seventh Street Theater or the Chino Community Theater. And, and I started doing things there and I was still playing sports at the time. And um, I don't know, theater is what stuck. Uh, I think I was better at that than I was at sports. It's like, oh, hey, this is more fun when you're, you know, than, than not hitting the ball or, or missing things. So I was just a little bit better at, at, uh, at theater. So I stuck with it through, uh, through high school as I was growing up and um, just sort of was fortunate enough to fall into some work uh, after I had graduated high school and while I was going through college. I fell in love with improv uh, very early on um, when I was in high school. Uh, one of my favorite things to do was, you know, when things would go wrong during a performance, which was, you know, um, you could sort of count on that happening um, uh, from time to time. So uh, my favorite thing to do was to justify why it was happening within the, within the boundaries of the story of the play or, or musical or whatever. So um, I would just love to come up with things off the top of my head that I would insert into the show. And it was, it's sort of this inside joke between you and the audience. They know that that wasn't supposed to happen, but they know that, you know, something had to be said to justify it. And so it's this joke that you have with the audience and, and it's a lot of fun. And so, um, uh, you know, got involved in the improv club in high school and then, um, continued um, most of the work that I got um, through college and after college was jobs that, and to this day, um, performance jobs where there is a script, but there's a lot of room to play and there's a lot of room to add. So um, that's sort of my sort of my specialty is sort of uh, structured improv where you have a little bit of a script, but you know you make it your own and you play with the audience and you kind of react to what they do. You know the audience is a big part of it. So um, that that I guess I found my niche uh, in in sort of uh, uh, performances that were uh, partially scripted and partially uh, improvised. I think for the performer, it's it's a rush that is unlike anything else. Um, when you know you're going to go up there and you know you know what to say and you've been practicing, that's a rush too. But when you have no idea what you're going to do, you know the there's no material that's been tested or workshopped or anything. You're just going to go up there and pray that you're funny or interesting. Um, and for the audience, I think it's I think it's fun for them to know that that no one has ever seen this before, that they're seeing something that is totally unique to what's happening in front of them. So we're talking about a uh, melodrama there. So comedy melodrama, um, basically um, I, I started, uh, one of my earliest jobs was at a, a theater in, in Long Beach, um, the All-American Melodrama Theater and Music Hall. Um, I uh, worked there from uh, 2010 to 2012. And what they did was they produced a, uh, um, original melodrama spoofs of pop culture uh, m films and, and television shows. And um, so melodrama, it's that old style that's been around for, for centuries, you know, the, the class, there's the classic hero and then there's the villain who's twirling his mustache and the damsel and, and things like that. And so um, we take that style and we apply it to, um, you know, a, a modern story. So a show that we do, um, uh, very often is uh, a, a spoof of uh, It's a Wonderful Christmas Carol. Well, that's the name of it. It's a Wonderful Christmas Carol. And it's a it's a cross between Christmas Carol and It's a Wonderful Life. So the villain is, is Ebenezer Scrooge. And so when he comes out, he's saying a lot of the classic Dickens lines, but the audience is booing him and he'll make uh, jokes to them and respond to them when they boo him. And uh, when the hero comes out, they'll cheer. And it's, it's, it's very, very interactive and very cheesy um, and uh, a lot of fun. Uh, my process for creating a, a, an improv uh, sketch is really, um, it really has to do with uh, who is in the show. And I pick the, uh, we do short form improv. So I pick uh, different games and things and styles and scenes. And my, my favorite thing to really uh, do is to pick scenes that um, are more driven by 
uh, a gimmick, uh, if you will, um, not just, you know, getting in a scene and uh, for the sake of acting out a scene. So a scene where there's a certain objective that the actors have to accomplish or there's parameters that are put on them. Uh, like um, they're only allowed to say a certain line. Uh, or they can only speak in questions or, or some sort. It's basically, I, I like uh, the idea of the audience watching the, the performers try and get through a scene with the, um, with these specific parameters that are, are put upon them. Um, I started Bravo Company almost by accident in 2014. Um, Bravo Company has existed uh, before we were even called Bravo Company and even before we had a name. Um, in 2014, um, the city of Chino Hills uh, came to myself and, and some of my friends because uh, they knew we, we did theater. Um, I was already working professionally at the time. So they came to me and they, there was an organization called Charts. It was Chino Hills Arts and they were producing things um, like uh, m you know music recitals and, and art shows uh, and things like that. And they wanted to do theater. So they came to us and asked us to, to perform a play there. And... Um, we did uh, the complete works of William Shakespeare abridged, a very funny play, and um, we did just this one night uh, performance at the uh, new community center in Chino Hills, and um, we were turning people away. We had a sellout. We had 300 people in the community center. It was this great uh, show, and uh, so they asked us back uh, several times, and finally, um, the the mayor uh, of Chino Hills said, "You know, you're going to have to." you know, come up with something to call yourselves. Um, that was, I think, when we did our second show there. And, and I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. And for, for a while, I didn't know what to call ourselves. Um, so we had a sort of a placeholder name uh, for a while. But then um, when I came up with uh, Bravo Company, the name, and, and, and I got that from, I, if I had a theater company and I had always sort of wanted to, and one of the things that I wanted to accomplish in addition to giving actors a place to perfect the craft, uh, but uh, make a little money, um, have fun with their friends and just, you know, an evening where people can enjoy themselves. But really what I wanted to be able to do uh, was to uh, help veterans. It was a, it was a, um, a cause that, that was important to me. And I, I'd always wondered, like, if I had a theater company, I wonder how I could how I could do that and what ways I could help uh, those people. And um, so uh, in 2019, um, actually, I'll go back even further. Um, we had a, a friend, a close friend who uh, was um, uh, who had cancer and, and they were uh, looking to raise money for their, their treatment. And so we did an improv show in Chino Hills and we raised uh, some money to help go toward their, their medical bills. And then um, after that, I, uh, I had been, you know, researching the Wounded Warrior Project. And so that's how uh, Improv for Warriors uh, was created in 2019. We did two shows, one at the Long Beach Playhouse and one at the Garage Theater um, that was also in Long Beach. And uh, Bravo Company gave our uh, portion of the ticket sales to the Wounded Warrior Project, and we were able to raise uh, over six hundred dollars. So it was just this this cool thing of wow. I mean, we're just here having fun and and you know making jokes and and making people laugh, and we we're also able to help people. So it was it was really cool for us to do that, and uh, we're happy to be able to do that again. What's unique about Bravo Company is all of us are. Uh, our professionals, we are all working actors. Um, we feed ourselves and pay our rent by performing. Um, but we also, um, I think uh, a lot of theater companies that I had seen um, uh, were, you know, they didn't have a, a theme. They would, they would go out there and, and always try to do good work and they were passionate. Um, but what I wanted was a, a brand, something that people, when they watched one of our shows, they would go, oh, that's, that's Bravo Company. So I was really trying to um, uh, find us a brand. And I think what that brand is, it's a, it's a silly, funny, lighthearted humor um, and uh, uh, that, that everybody can enjoy. Um, and uh, just uh, something that uh, people just they want to they want to have a break from maybe some serious subject matter. Um, they want to enjoy themselves. They want to turn their brains off for a while. Um, so they they come and watch us and just have a good time.
so improv for warriors uh once again um we did it first in 2019 and uh my uh bravo company again came in the concept was i wanted to help veterans and so i sort of themed the whole company uh with sort of a military theme so bravo company in the name and we use we use uh camo and we use a lot of um you know uh, mili militaristic uh, phrases in our in our um, marketing and things like that. Um, and that all came from just wanting to be able to find some way to help veterans uh, through the company. And so um, Improv for Warriors um, just began as uh, it, it was designed as a, as a tour. And we um, we had uh, two different performances at two different theaters. Um, and then this year, um, the Long Beach Playhouse uh, needed some uh, to fill some dates, and we had been chatting back and forth about doing more improv there. They're they're always uh, very accommodating and and very easy to work with. It's a great uh, venue, and uh, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to bring uh, Improv for Warriors back. And so this time we're doing two nights at the Long Beach Playhouse, and um, like I said last year or uh, 2019 rather, we were able to raise uh, $600 between the two nights. So I'm hoping we can even do better than that this time. I picked the Wounded Warrior Project because um, it's uh, an organization that I've heard a lot about for a long time. And uh, there's a lot of organizations that, that help veterans out there. Um, and um, this was one um, that I I don't know, I guess I was exposed to it more through social media and things. And, and so I reached out and, uh, and they make it very easy for you to uh, get involved with them. And, um, you know, I, I just think it's, um, it's sort of a no brainer in terms of, of uh, being able to give and being able to help and what kind of organization um, you could help because these are people who have, um, you know, sacrificed immensely uh, for us, um, for uh, our freedom. It's, it's one of the things I, I tell the audiences and, and, and even our performers, you know, we get to do this because of them. Um, you know, so um, it's a real honor to, to help that organization because they do so many great things. Um, we had a gentleman um, speak at, at the first Improv for Warriors uh, show uh, back in 2019. Um, and, um, really nice people and just gave, gave a couple stories about um, the types of people who were able to help um, and just the guys who uh, were hurt in the line of duty and uh, you know, who are in need of help. And we, we should do everything we can uh, to help those guys, those men and women. So, um, and uh, we appreciate uh, wounded warrior project, um, you know, making this so easy and, and we appreciate all they do for our veterans. Well, of course we want them to have a good time and we want them, especially, you know, with, with everything that's been going on lately, we first and foremost, we would just like everyone to be able to have an evening where they enjoy themselves and and kind of ha have a good time and, and forget maybe any problems that anybody's having. But really um, what I would really like uh, for folks to uh, get out of Improv for Warriors is, um, and we talked about this uh, in our first Improv for Warriors show, um, and, and I mentioned it with with myself and and wanting to help veterans. It's it's trying to find a way to help um, to help people if you can. Uh, and um, basically, you know, not all of us are able to um, you know give money all the time. You know, um, a lot of us are struggling. You know, it's been it's been tough times for a lot of people. And sometimes we can't. We're not in a position to donate or give money, and that's okay. We have to help ourselves. Uh, we have to take care of ourselves. Um, so I encourage people to find ways, um, find creative ways to be able to help. And this is kind of one way that we can help. We can use what we know how to do: improvise and put on a show, and use that. Uh, to help uh, to help a, a particular organization, in this case, uh, Improper Warriors. So I hope this show um, inspires people to find a way, uh, find a way to help, uh, whether it's Wounded Warrior Project or whatever organization that is important to them, um, or if it's just helping a neighbor, or helping a friend, just finding a way. Um, there's more ways to help than you know, uh, giving a few bucks. You know, um, just find a way to find a way to help. What I'm looking for is, uh, I guess I've seen this happen before, and I guess I just want this to happen every time. You know, there's always some sort of audience interaction. We like to get the audience involved. And um, sometimes they'll come up on stage. Uh, sometimes, you know, they'll talk to us from their seats. 
Um, but we have this uh, one game in particular called First Date, and how it works is we bring a couple on stage, and um, we ask them a little bit about their their first date and how it went and where they went and what they were thinking at the time. And so we get a little information from them, and then we have two of our performers act it out uh, and fill in the blanks of things they don't know. And the audience members, the couple, will have a uh, uh, like a bell or a horn or they have both. And so basically they have two sounds. And when uh, the performers in the scene do something that actually did happen on their first date, they'll, they'll make the sound that says, yes, that's what happened. They'll, they'll ring the bell. And if something uh, didn't happen that way, then they'll honk the horn. But my favorite thing that happens every single time without fail is uh, they'll do something in the scene. The performers will do something. And then um like the guy will ring the bell and the woman will honk the horn at the same time like one's saying yeah that that's the way it happened and the one says no that's not the way it happened so that happens every time and it's usually the biggest uh, the biggest laugh in the show so i'm looking forward to that i think it's a no-brainer i think um you there you got nothing to lose um you're gonna come out and you're gonna you're gonna have some laughs you're gonna see some people having fun and by doing that you are helping the Wounded Warrior Project. You are helping someone uh, who sacrificed for the country and who is in need. So just by going out and having having a good time, you're helping someone. So I, I think uh, yeah, that's a no brainer there. I would uh, tell anyone uh, they should get involved with Bravo Company because we pride ourselves on on professionalism. Uh, like I said, we're we're all professionals. We work in the industry, and um, you know it's just a very a supportive environment. Um, it's a very creative environment. Um, everybody comes to these shows. Um, and they, they don't, uh, the performers, they, they're donating their time in this instance, and they're doing it so uh, willingly, and there's no attitude of, well, you know, I'm doing this, you know, for you or for them, or so you should be grateful. Like, everyone is so generous um, and, and excited to do it and happy to do it, and, and we're happy about why we do it. And so when you're involved with Bravo Company, um, you also, you'll meet people that you'll be friends with for the rest of your life and you'll network and you'll get work through these people. So it's, uh, it's always a positive experience for everybody involved. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. Oh, well, I think, uh, organizations like Bravo company are important because I think any opportunity to, um, be able to produce, uh, your own project and kind of, you know, get out from under a bigger uh, organization. I think that's important. Um, creative freedom, things like that. Um, I also think the more opportunities for people to get out there and and either, you know, improvise or perform or act or sing or whatever you're doing, the more opportunities to do that, the better. Um, the, more, uh, the more exposure um, that we have to um, not only peers and, and fellow performers, but audience members, um, the more people we meet, um, uh, the, the better it is. So I just think the more organizations out there uh, like this, uh, it's better for everybody. I would just like to re reiterate one more time that um, just by uh, buying a ticket and come in, come and have uh, some la coming in to have some laughs, uh, you're helping the Wounded Warrior Project and you're helping um, people who have uh, sacrificed for our country. So if you're a performer, uh, these folks are the reason why we get to do this, why we get to do it for a living, why we get to do it for fun. Um, so this is a small way that we can give back. Um, so I, I just hope that uh, folks will come out uh, to the Long Beach Playhouse and uh, enjoy Bravo Company and support the Wounded Warrior Project. My name is Matt Riggle from Bravo Company, and I hope that you will come out to Improv for Warriors 2 Friday and Saturday, January 21st and 22nd at the Long Beach Playhouse. And I hope you will help us support the Wounded Warrior Project. 100% of Bravo Company's uh, portion of the ticket sales will go to the Wounded Warrior Project. Come out, have some laughs, and help support the folks who sacrifice for our country.